Thank you, Chairperson. The aim of this study is to investigate the effect of tetrahydrobiopterin, BH4, an essential cofactor in nitric oxide biosynthesis on chronic ischemia related lower urinary tract dysfunction. This is the design of the study. 16 weeks old rats were divided into three groups. The control group received regular diet for eight weeks. Chronic bladder ischemia, CBI group underwent balloon endocellular injury or bilateral iliac arteries and received a 2% cholesterol diet for eight weeks to induce chronic bladder ischemia. The CBI with BHO treatment, CBI BH4 group was given BH4 orally once daily after the same arterial endocellular injury as the CBI group. After systematic recordings, bladder and common iliac artery were harvested for pharmacological and histological examination. This is the result. In the CMG, Nutrition interval was significantly shorter, and blood capacity and void volume were significantly less in the CBI group than in the control group. In the CBI BH4 group, nutrition interval was significantly longer, and the blood capacity and void volume was significantly greater as compared with the CBI group. The mean artery wall sickness was significantly greater in the CBI group than in the control group. In the CBI BHO group, artery wall sickness was suppressed as compared with the CBI group. In the organ bar study, contractile responses of muscle strips to KCL, electrical fluid stimulation, ATP, and carbacol was significantly less in the CBI group than in the control group. In the CBI BHO group, significant improvements were seen muscle strip contractility as compared to CBI group. Western blood analysis showed the expression of HIF1 alpha was significantly increased in the CBI group as compared with the other group. Our results suggested that BH4 deficiency as one cause of LUTD associated chronic ischemia. Chronic treatment with BH4 might prevent increases in reactive oxygen species and neointimal formation, resulting in improvement of bladder hyperactivity. The implication of this study is that BH4 may be therapeutically useful in preventing atherosclerosis and chronic ischemia related LUTD. Thank you for your attention. So, is this um, compound available for use clinically yet? for treatment of human, not rats? <laughs> uh, um, uh, so, uh, it is reported that uh, oral supplementation of BH4 improve endothelial uh, function uh, in patients with rheumatoid patients. Yeah, it's quite expensive though, isn't it? It's costly. It's costly. It costs a lot of money. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I looked it up actually. Biomarin still has the patent until 2024, and the cost is. 1,214 U.S. dollars for 30 100 milligram doses. To, tr to treat a patient over a one year period would be over $100,000 U.S. dollars. Oh. Right now, it's cost prohibitive to uh, regenerate yourself with tetrahydrobiopterin, but it sounds, it sounds very promising. It's almost too good to be true <laughs> to believe. So, um, are there any um, adverse effects? From, from treatment with this fairly high dose of uh, um, tetrahydrobiopterin. I mean, it's equivalent of a human taking about a gram a day. Uh, as a, uh, some studies, uh, I'm sorry, I forget uh, the dose for human, but uh, other study uh, reported the dose uh, 
prevent uh, arterial wall uh, atherosclerosis wall sickness. So we use uh, these doses. I think it's very promising, but I'm, 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 a, I'm a little bit skeptical about uh, whether it's going to pan out to be a, a panacea for atherosclerosis. But um, it, it's, it's very intriguing. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.